Hello, my crafty friends. Today I'd like to show you how I do a zigzag stitch and make it the threads invisible from the front. As you see here, this is what it would normally look like with the strings hanging. So you have one on each side, this one here, this one here, and you'll end up with that on each end that you start and finish. So I wanted to just show you quickly how I take the string and hide it behind the back. And I have no fear of it coming up through here because once I get it to the back side, I trim it and then I glue it down. And then this can be further covered up with scrap of paper or fabric or washi tape or whatever. Or even if it's just left like this, it's not that noticeable. At least to me, it would be a lot less noticeable than something like this hanging off. So in this case, I'll show you this is the front. I have a pink thread here, so you can see that. And what I like to do is take a pin. I take this type of a pin, and what I do is I flip it to the back side, and then I take the thread that's coming this way, and I just gently pull it until it pops out. You see, it's already popped out. That happened very easily. Um, and then I take my pin and just pull that loop through. And so there's no threads left on the outside. Let me do that again. I'm going to do it a few times so you can see how it's done. Take the thread from the inside very gently pull it until this loop comes through from the front thread. Then put the pin right here in the loop and pull it towards you. And you've got a clean finish on this side and then you have both strings on this side. Let me do it a couple more times. Loose string on the inside, pull, the loop shows up. Pull it through. One more time. And then all I do from this point is I trim it to about there because if it gets too short, it could possibly slip back through. Then I take some glue. I've used a glue stick before. I also yet like to use like the art glitter glue. And just put a little dab of glue there and then work it in with my fingers into there and just kind of spread it down. You can see it dries clear and there you have it. And here's a better look at it here with this little golden book cover. I just used a scrap piece of chipboard from a package and it's just about the same thickness as a little golden book cover so you could see Thank you for watching today, and I'll see you soon.